on the move. Oh, and a giveaway. JT four. The driving lanes open. Springer, nice bounce pass to Fulkerson, blocked at the rim. Poked away by Thor. Goes to Coast. Thor! Nice dish. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Thor got his own miss and rolled it home. This is a good defensive trip for St. Joe's. Thor corralled it after the little miss. Just enjoyed the company. Nice pass. Out to Thor and a foul. Mentioned Flanagan, 20 points in this game, 15 in this half. Four! Finally, I get to say it, he brings that. And, and Richie Riley talked, we have to keep Auburn off the glass. But first and foremost, the one thing when you go on the road, you get to show up on campus and do workouts. So it, it, it's everything's new for new players. Uh, going to... Flanagan looking at a three-pointer, offensive rebound, four down inside, and he will finish that. Dale Brown at LSU went to the Final Four and put himself in a position to get back involved in coaching. It was a great recruit. Texas Southern swinging around the perimeter. Here's a drive from Alexander. He's Alexander is a key component to the team. Uh, he's a Georgetown transfer. He's Powell open, knows he can't force the shot. Gets the key pass out to him. Points is that opening stanza. A bit of a force that time, but floor with with a point guard position that struggles. Largest lead for Memphis. Oh. Bank is open for bad pass. Auburn on a run out. Thor all the way. Fouled and count the basket. Playing with Uber confidence, the freshman from Kentucky. JT Thor, yes. Powell, Rob, four. And of course, think the world of their leader. Well, Kevin, the few games we've had together, so keep playing each possession like it's down to crunch time, and their sense of urgency has been through the roof. Of uh, Sellers' remorse there for the Wildcats. Shot block. Good contest. It also feels two. like they're operating with a shot clock, Jimmy, of about some early 2022 mock drafts and on cue off the mark. Right. Offensive rebound is good for JT Thor. Same spot. Thor's going to have to heave one up, and the freshman throw the oh. wing, and it's all net. So for Auburn, what you're telling me, Professor, you want to see more passing, less dribbling. Thor on command. That's Arkansas last time out. Here's a steal by Thor. Three on one. Alley oop on the way. Thor with a putback. Ooh, that's a There's a steal. Pass. Chandler lost possession. Inside to Thor, and we're tied. We'll start out west. Another one. Thor got that. Looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, bad shot, take a force one is what you just saw. Reese hits the shot. Look at this. this hey, hey, is hey, oh. Cooper the other way. Cambridge. Thor. Sixteen points, six rebounds for Bruner. Cooper, the hesitation. Five four. Primo. Top score today for the tide. Thor with another block and all off. Great defense by Alabama on Cooper and off the ball. Jones had it blocked by Thor. Poked away by Thor. Goes to Coast. Eric Musselman, I'm talking to the team right now about winning this segment. Close the half by winning this last two plus. JT's Thor. Luke Garza. Back to live action. Four point. Arkansas has gotten to this point because they've taken the ball out of Cooper's hands. Thor wide. Cooper. JT Thor will try for three and he'll here. And Bruce admitted yesterday that the challenge now of keeping his guys motivated in terms of we didn't defend the, the backboard well. We didn't stay in front of the ball. And that's I think that's that's Alabama. They, well, that last the last fight for him about a year ago, right against Cowboy, that was over in a in a flash. For him will be the uh, the rebounding aspect. He's got six. He'd need to crash the glass harder. 
He had a double-double on Saturday. In the first half against off screen action, he can see the court so well. That shot pinned off the backboard. And a win that was particularly satisfying, I would say, for Juan Conzo Martin. Here's JT4, the defensive side this year tonight, flexing its muscles defensively. Alan Flanagan, needs four. There's Thor, lines it up, knocks it down at the rim. Smith, head fake and drive. Smart move, but another point. Needs a quick score, maybe a hoist. Watson, that one blocked. Feed inside, Thamba looking for some space. Short with that three. He's going to shoot it. And a big three. Williams being harassed by Thamba. Feed inside. Thor able to put it in. Shot short. Rebound there by Thamba. Feed for Baylor. I, Bruce Pearl was our colleague. I worked a, a lot of games. He, he told Bruce, me. He was, he was fun. Fran for Schiller. Or Bugen Fran, if you prefer. Inside Thor. Yeah. He competed, as I said earlier, against Sharif Cooper. How about that? How about JT Thor? Four of its five. There's Jamal Johnson struggling from deep. Thor on the glass. Both of these teams founded by Thor. Here's Cooper open floor. Took it down with him. Thor follows it up. Picks right. That's something Auburn's going to have to worry about. Is keeping people off that button. Jalen Williams do a better job keeping him off the block, out of the zone. Teams in the SEC. Four 1,000-point scorers on this roster. A lot of upperclassmen for the Rebels. Thor in the lane ties it up. Everybody getting a touch. Thor down the lane. Count it on the floor right now. Three balls started going down, got to the free throw line. Has great feel, he's highly skilled. Get it inside. Wow. That shot was way off on the attempt by Jackson. Yeah, keep in mind, both of these teams block about six shots yep. per game, so everything should be contested, especially down deep. Both top five in college. On. Jackson, handoff. Allen blocked on the outside, deflected. To bend, especially under the basket. Auburn had lost three in a row to Baylor, Georgia, and Ole Miss. Saw on the defensive glass. Askew with a oh, purpose. No, no, no. Move on the baseline. Thor gets a piece. Cooper. Thor, a three. Boy, if they have Junior it. climbs the ladder. Yeah, two guys trying to block a shot. Nobody gets a body. Thor. Wow. wow. Nice. Cooper, step back, Jay. Rims out. Rebound battle, scooped up, Thor turns, and communications. Eric Lindsay and his wife Stephanie welcomed a baby girl into the world this week. Adeline Ruth. Under two minutes to play. Auburn down by four to Kentucky. Cooper needs help. Lob it in. Thor turns, bakes it in. One that they obviously needed. Cooper gets in. Reverse no. Attention from athletic trainer Sean Eddy. Point blank look and Watford blew the ball. They have been susceptible all year long, so this their offense is really helping them defensively. Rebounded by Dylan Cardwell. Devin Cambridge picked up his third foul that last trip down for Auburn. Chance for the Tigers. They shoot 13 offensive rebounds into 11 second chance points. Thor, good plays. Physically, they're capable able, capable to do that. And when I said play through contact, at 6'6", 210, he can overpower and go through a lot of guys. So. A team, that's what makes a team Free like throw line, threw it up, followed it up strong, and keeps going after it. Third time. Let's see if he can light it up from three. He's a good shooter. Instead, JT4 able to understandable when you're at Auburn right now. And now you're without Cooper tonight. And you can kind of question, well, what are we playing for? They can't survive that way. Thor pulls up. Many ways to score around the hoop. John Fulkerson has not been as productive as he was last year. He, he struggled for most of the part this year. To just ride Cambridge off, not allow him to get into the lane, and then elevation. On the move. Oh, and a giveaway. JT4! 23 turnovers. And less than 40% from the field. Not going to get it done.
Credit Alabama's deep. Shot clock again under 10. And Thor will fire up a three and hit two. Oh, Smith probed there without forcing it. Look at the hands by Thor on the backside steal. Thor on the finish. Yes, plus one. Additionally, have not been that big and have been able to exploit the size, as you mentioned. Because Freshman in transition. It's come a long way. Smith, who... Oh, oh. <laughs>